This is going to be my first look into um, finding and manipulating uh, complex variables and um, using Euler's formula. Um, this is something that you should have gone over in class, as always stated. This is a problem-based learning channel, so you should have gone over things, you should have gone over your lectures and stuff. This is getting used to manipulating uh, tricky questions and applying that the theoretical knowledge that you should know. Um, there are a bunch of formulas for this that you need to remember and you're going to be manipulating this cos z into getting it into this form and for this question it's asking you to find the imaginary part which is this. Um, so um, uh, the first thing that we're going to get going with is um, um, we know that cos z um, will equal a half e to the iz plus e minus i z. Now this is something that you need to remember. Um, some of these things can be derived into each other, but um, we're going to get going from here. So just remember this. This is um, you, you. You should know something for cos z. And then if it was sine z, it would be half e to the i z minus e uh, to the power um, minus i z. So um, these are two um, formulas that you need to remember. Um, now we know that they've given us z equals x plus y. So we can go a half e i uh, x plus i y plus e to the minus i x plus i y. Um, and now if we expand this out, you get a half e to the i x plus i squared y plus e to the minus i x minus i squared y. Now, you should know that i squared equals minus 1, or minus i squared equals 1. So, um, here we can eliminate these i squareds. So, um, uh, a half e to the i x um, minus y, plus e to the minus i x positive y. So now we have it in a in a better form. Uh, we're going to do some indice law now. We sh you should know this. Maybe you've done this at school when you were fifteen or sixteen. I don't know. Maybe seventeen years old. Um, that um, this can be rewritten. If I go a half e to the i x multiplied by e to the minus y plus e to the minus x multiplied by e to the y. So this is that you can break these up. Um, then um, we now have it in another form that I can now start breaking into. You should know that e to the i x equals, so let's just, e to the i x um, equals cos, um, cos x plus i sine x multiplied by e to the minus y. Whoops, let's just do that. So uh, this now turns into this. You should know this. Um, and then it's added to um, uh, this e to the minus i x um, is equal to cos x minus i sine x uh, multiplied by e to the y. So, um, as you can see, um, um, there are now two more things that you need to remember. Um, so there's this equation that you need to remember. You now need to remember this one for this. So you, you're substituting around. Now, I'm going to do this the long-winded way because I remember the first time somebody did this, they skipped out a bunch of steps and I, I was a bit lost. I was just like, what are you doing? Um, so um, you multiply the e to the minus y in and you multiply the half in, um, so that you get this, this meaty equation, where you're going to get e to the minus y cos x. Actually, I'm going to leave the um, half out. Let's just leave the half here. Um, e to the minus y i sine x um, plus e to the y cos x minus e to the y i sine x. 
So um, I've just m multiplied this to this, this to this, this to this, this to this, because now I want to get all my cos terms and put them together. So um, cos x would be e y plus e y. Um, and then my i sine x would be e to the minus y minus e y. But now we have another um, another formula that can now be used because you should know that sine h uh, for this one it's y, isn't it? Sine h y will equal a half e to the y minus e to the minus y and cosh y will equal a half e to the y plus e to the minus y. So um, we now have um, uh, these two and if you see it looks quite familiar here if you multiply the half in here and you just literally move a half here and you move this half here half e to the minus y plus e to the y is cosh y and 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 then if you multiply this half here it's sine h y so that means you'll have cos x substitute this for this you get cosh y and that's equal to oh whoops uh, and that is um, uh, the minus e y. So you get sine h y. Um, oh, you're going to get a negative here. It's going to be negative um, i sine x multiplied by um, replacing this. You get e to the minus y minus e y, um, which is the sine h y. Um, so now that is my, that's the complete form. But as you can see, the question asked at the beginning, the imaginary part of FZ. So now the imaginary part would be this. So this would be your answer that you give. This is the whole thing and you say, this is imaginary part. So, um, this is how you manipulate it. A lot, it, it's quite straightforward. There's just a lot of equations that you need to remember. You need to remember this one. You need to remember um, your um, what uh, this one is for, how you get the uh, cos x plus i sine x. Um, and then you also need to remember your cosh y and sine y. There can be different variables. I don't know, they could change this to p equals l t plus I, G, and it'll be the same things, but you just replace everything through. But um, anyway, that's your answer for this.